Hi friends, welcome, it's Sunny. So uh, before you watch today's video, please do me a favor and comment below with whether you're most interested in learning um, basic figures, uh, technique, leads part, follows part, uh, what skill level you are, um, any information like that will help me select future topics to post on YouTube that will be most useful for you. So let's get started. Uh, today, I wanna to take a really quick peek at some tricks we can use to better lead and follow heel turns. Notoriously difficult figure. And for today's purposes, we'll look at it in Foxtrot, though obviously um, we can do this same figure in a number of dances. And we'll look at a reverse turn, kind of the most basic of heel turns. So uh, leads just to pressure, your footwork, usually at a dag center, is left heel, we turn around the partner, right toe, turning in, back on the left toe. Or that would be a slow, quick, quick. And then I would exit backwards and did something turning to the left on my right foot. Okay, so leads. I know the book says slow, quick, quick, or if I were counting in numbers, one, three, four. And I'll dance it like that just for a visual reference. Five, six, seven, and one, three, four. My suggestion to help you get early rise around the partner is a trick. Instead, in your head, count it one, two, four. Okay, or quick, quick, slow. And I'll dance it that way and count it both ways so you have a visual reference. So, as a trick to helping achieve early rise, getting around your partner, one, two, four. Of course, coming out. Now I'm going to count that in quicks and slows, our new trick way to get around the partner and help lead that heel turn. Five, six, seven, and quick, slow. Okay. Another little trick leads. Pretend you're riding a quiet scale horse on step two. So a very short step on one, wide step around her on step two. So I'm going to pretend this is my line of dance. That'll be the easiest angle to see that at, okay? So I'm going to go short, long, short. So just stay on the front foot. Um, in contrast, I'll show what I don't want to see. That's going to be very difficult for her to follow is long, short, Long. That's a worst case scenario. So we want to go short on step one to trick her into falling back in her heels. Short. Second step is long. Go as wide around her as much as you can so it's easy for her to turn on her heels. Around. This is a wide step. Keep turning. And then just track the legs and on the top of the foot rather than back on a ball. That will pull on your girl. This will give her a chance to finish and then power out into you. Okay, I'm going to show that from this angle. Just so you see that one more time. So we've got our, our couple tricks we're going to do today. We're going to think one, two, four, four, quick, quick, slow. We're going to think short, long, short. Okay? Okay, ladies, let's look at your part. Equally as important as the man's part. So, ladies, just review our footwork. We're going back, usually dag center, would turn in. So, using the outside edge of the foot instead of the top of the foot. That's going to pull on your partner. So outside edge, I wait for him to roll me onto that foot. I'm going to pull the feet together, turn half on my right heel, half on my left heel, and come 
come forward through his legs, between his legs, on your right toe. I'll show that a little smoother and we'll do like textbook timing, slow, quick, quick. Five, six, seven, and slow. Quick, quick. Or I'll do that with numbers. Five, six, seven, and one, three, four. So, ladies, we are not a sticky pad stuck on the top of him, okay? That's going to be very heavy for him. So, I'm an active co-pilot when I'm following. That means I'm making educated guesses as to where I'm going next. And usually, I'll feel the lead on step one, and then I'll actively respond on steps two and three. So, for example, if he's heading diagonal center in a foxtrot, meaning if this were my line of dance and I'm going this way, I'm going to assume if I get a feather step, he's probably going to do a reverse turn. So, I want to help center that back turn, that um, heel turn, by actively helping him get around me. I almost think of back leading it. Um, it's very difficult for him to lead this figure. And even if he gives you a late lead, which he often will, this will help him get around you. So that would look like this, and I'll show from the feather. Slow, quick, quick. At this point, I know we're not gonna go all the way across the room. We're probably gonna do a reverse turning figure. So I'm gonna back lead, very gently turn that foot in, take it short, help him get around me. Put my right hip up to him, and then step forward. I really want to connect um, up with my lowest ribs as much as I can. I'll show that again. So if I'm about here on the floor and I've just done a feather, I can assume it's going to be a reverse turn. I'm going to crank it short, feet together, and forward through his legs. Uh, so, ladies, let me show that from another angle. So, we'll pretend this is our line of dance. Okay, so we're heading this way. So, short on the outside edge of ladies' right foot. Short, heel turns, toe. Okay. Uh, ladies, I have one more suggestion for you, a little trick to help him get around you. Often, the ladies power too much on the one, and they're not being patient to receive the lead, and then actually go on steps two and three. So what I don't want to see is if you feel that big old flight on step one of the feather, just going for it on the next step. Don't assume a three step. I actually need to wait for him to complete step one before I actively do my part on step two and three. So that timing I gave him, very helpful for you too. So instead of going backwards thinking, one, three, four, one, three, four, it's almost impossible for him to get around you. Think one and three, four. One, and then if it's a traveling step, I'll go more. One, if he, Rotates right away. Oh, three, four. So I'll count that as lady. So being very patient with step one of every single figure. That's especially important in this reverse turn. Otherwise, you're on the inside of the turn. He can only step so big. He just can't get around you. And at that point, you'll complain, oh, he's pulling on me. I can't get inside of his legs. I'm not getting a lead. He might be leading that heel turn just fine. If you go too soon on step one, almost impossible for her to get around you. So I'll count that in numbers. One and three, four. So very patient there. So hope that's been helpful today. Just a couple little tricks you can use to make those heel turns a little bit easier for you. So remember that tricky timing we're gonna do, the quick, quick, slow, and then delaying um, that timing on the first step. So. Uh, anyway, hope that helps, and I'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Have a good week.